Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be doing a first impressions video. I have quite a few items here, enough for like a full face. So I've got concealer, I've got foundation, eyeshadow, blush, highlighter, you name it, I've got it. So I wanna give you like a first impressions on how I feel about these products. So the first thing I wanna start off with is primer and I got this e.l.f. Jelly Pop primer. It's a dew primer. I bought this at Ulta. So I was really excited to pick this up because this is new to the e.l.f. line. And they had some like glosses. They had, uh, what else did they have? Oh, they had these little like jelly highlighters or they were like eyeshadows. I didn't pick any of those up. I just wanted to try the primer itself. So here's what the primer looks like. And it comes with a pump. So I'm going to use that first. I'm going to go in with just, oops, just one pump like that. And I'm gonna put that all over. I've already done all my skincare, my SPF, so I'm good to go on that end. It feels pretty good. It doesn't feel like too slick. It feels like it has some tackiness to it. it kind of reminds me of the Cover Effects Gripping Primer. It actually smells like watermelon candy to me. Smells really good. That feels pretty tacky. So yeah, I think my foundation's gonna stick on there really well. So the next thing that I'm gonna use is this Smashbox Under Eye Hydrating Primer. You guys know I've used this many times before. This is just like a little sample that I've actually used when I traveled. So I'm gonna stick that right there under my eyes. And this just keeps my under eyes hydrated. And it also helps prime that area for the concealer as well. So I'm not gonna go into foundation just yet. I'm gonna use the NYX Proof It Waterproof Primer for my eyes. You guys know I love this, especially for summer. It's been such a great primer. My eyeshadow stays in place. It doesn't go anywhere. Love this stuff. So for eyeshadow today, I'm gonna use the NYX Mystic Petals Eyeshadow Palette. I loved the shades that were in here. They're very like fall-like shades, but I still wanna use it today because I thought it was just so beautiful. But these are the shades here. They've got some really beautiful mauve and green shades in there. So I'm gonna use this Sonia G Blender Pro brush and I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. It's like a very light mauve shade and I'm gonna use that in my crease. I didn't set the NYX primer, it's pretty much dried, so I'm just going into my crease with this shadow. Ooh, that is such a pretty color. And I'm just going a little bit above the crease on the brow bone. Okay, that shade went on really nicely. That looks really good. So for the next one, I'm gonna go into this green shade right here. I don't know if the names are on the back. It looks like they're numbered, but there's no name of the shadow on the back of the palette. So yeah, that's unfortunate. But either way, it is the dark green shadow right here that I'm going into next. I'm using the Sonia G Builder Pro. I'm gonna put this in the inner corner and the outer corner of my eye. So, ooh. That's really pigmented. Ooh, that's so pretty. Wow, that's a beautiful green shade. And then I'm gonna go on the corner right here by the crease and the outer corner and just kind of packing that on. And then I'm gonna kind of connect both here at the top. I will say so far, these are really pigmented and they're blending pretty good. And then what I'm gonna do is take the Sonia G Crease Pro Brush and I'm just gonna kinda smooth that crease out, kinda blend it all together. I'm gonna go into this shade right here. It's kind of like a, kind of like a teal green. That's what it looks like to me. I'm gonna use the Sonia G Worker Pro Brush. I'm gonna put it on the middle of my eyelid. Yep, these are very pigmented, really, really nice. 
So I think that's it for the eyes for now. I will come back to this palette to do the bottom lash line. So let's go ahead and get started with the foundation. For foundation today, I am using the NYX Born to Glow foundation. It's a naturally radiant foundation and I have the shade Golden. I did have a difficult time trying to pick my shade for this foundation. Good thing that my friend Jules was with me when we went to Ulta and she helped me pick the closest one possible because otherwise I couldn't tell with the lighting. It just was really hard to pick a shade for me. Hopefully the Golden works and it blends in really well. If I have to lighten it up, I can lighten it up with concealer. If I have to darken it up, I can darken it up with bronzer. So that's not a big deal. So let's go ahead and get started with that. It does come in like a tube and it has a little seal on it that I'm going to take off. When Jules and I swatched this in store, it seemed like it had really good coverage. So um, I don't want to put too much on the back of my hand. I am going to start off with like just a pea size just to see whether I'm going to need less or more. It's always good to start with less just so that you'll be able to build it up if you need to. I'm going to go ahead and use this little pea size amount. It is not a runny foundation and it's not a super thick foundation. It's just kind of like in between. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put some on this side. I am going to use a brush today on one side and then a sponge on the other, just so we can see the difference. Let me get a mirror. I'm only gonna use half of the amount that I have just to see if it covers that entire area. I'm gonna go in with the Milani foundation brush it's just a flat top brush and I'm just going to press that in oh yeah that little amount covered really really well and it has like a slight glow to it can you guys see that it's almost like full coverage it's not quite full coverage I can still see some of my hyperpigmentation through it but even so it still has beautiful coverage that's so pretty okay so let me try this side with the sponge I'm just using the rest of what I have on my hand and then I'm using a real technique sponge it's the really big body sponge I love this though because you can cover like your whole face in like seconds I will say that the coverage is not as full or medium to full with the sponge as it is with the brush. As you can see, the brush covered quite a bit and the sponge kind of soaked some of it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit more on the back of my hand and go over this side with the brush because it looks like it took a lot of it off, to be honest. Oh yeah, the brush gives it way more coverage. It is a little bit more tanned than what I thought, but it's still a beautiful shade. Like right now, I'm not as tanned as I like to be. I do like to self tan, so I will be self tanning here in the next few days and this shade would match me perfectly once I'm self tanned. So it went into the skin really well. I'm gonna use whatever is left on my hand and then just brush it down my neck just so it can match really well. And put a little bit on my ears. It looks really nice. And like I said, it has a really nice glow to it. It does say born to glow, so it is giving a really nice, beautiful glow to the skin. It doesn't look greasy. It just looks really, really nice. So, so far, so good on that. I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer to cover those areas where I need more coverage. So next I'm gonna go in with the CoverGirl True Blend Concealer and I have the shade Golden Natural. This is what the packaging looks like. And I've heard really good things about this concealer. I've heard that it has really good coverage. So I was really excited when my Ulta had it because I looked at Walmart and they didn't have it on display yet. So I was really glad to see it at Ulta. And like I said, I had heard so many good things about it. So here's the wand right here. It kind of looks like the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer Wand. I'm going in with this Sonia Kashuk sponge to blend it out. It's blending out really nicely and it has really good coverage. Oh wow, that looks really nice. I'm just gonna put the excess on the top of my lip just to highlight it a little bit. Looking at it, it blended out really nicely. Looks really pretty under the eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and set this with my Laura Mercier Blurring Powder. Ooh, that sets so nicely. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my face. I don't have a new setting powder, but I am gonna set it with the La Mer powder. I've been loving this powder here lately. I've been using it a lot. And I'm gonna set my face. 
So for bronzer today, I got this MAC bronzer. It's a new bronzer. It comes like in this really beautiful marble box. The name of the bronzer is Canyon Dreamin'. But look how beautiful this packaging is, guys. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm not sure what this collection is called, but I'll put a little note right here letting you guys know. But this is actually the bronzer, and it's a really beautiful, like, very golden tan type bronzer. So I was really excited to get it. You guys know I love bronzers, and yeah, I'm like obsessed with bronzers. But anyway, I wanna go ahead and use this today, and so I'm gonna bronze up my skin. I'm just using one of my, um, this is just a wet and wild brush. Oh my gosh, that is pretty. This is a beautiful bronze shade. It's not too warm and it's not too cool. Like I said, it's like a tan golden bronze. Yeah, that's really, really pretty. Now I did purchase two of the NYX Sweet Cheeks blushes. One of them is a matte blush. This one's called Bang Bang. And the other one is a glow blush in Citrine Rose. But I'll show you both blushes. Unfortunately, I will be using both of them today. But I want to go ahead and show you swatches of them either way. This is actually Bang Bang. It is so beautiful, guys. It is like a muted type of like mauvey rose. Oh gosh, that's so gorgeous. That's the shade right there. That's the matte one. The glow one is citrine rose. This is more of like a peach shade, kind of peachy orange. And this one is just as beautiful as the other one too. There it is right there on the bottom. I think I'm gonna use Bang Bang with this look because I think it'll go better with it. So let me get a blush brush. I'm just using this It's My Ray Ray blush brush and they feel like they would be pretty pigmented so I don't wanna go in too heavy handed. So I barely put any on the brush. Yeah, this shade looks better with this eye look. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah, and they're pretty pigmented because I went in with a really light hand. So for highlight, I bought these Physicians Formula rosé all day. One of them is in Petal Pink and the other one is in Freshly Picked. So Freshly Picked is more of a golden shade. Okay, so here's Freshly Picked and this one here is Petal Pink and it is a pink shade. And I'll swatch them for you. Actually, the Petal Pink, it's not really pink pink, it's like pink peach, if that makes sense. That's the Petal Pink. And then I'll show you the Freshly Picked, which is more, like I said, on the golden side. So here's the Freshly Picked, and this one is the Petal Pink. But both of them are really, really beautiful. Physicians Formula has some of the best highlighters out there. So I was really glad to get my hands on these new ones. There were two other ones that they had. One of them was like a, it's more of like an iridescent, you know, pink with the pinks and the kind of like the purple and all that. I don't know what it's called, but yeah, it was more like iridescent. And the other one was more of a dark bronze. So I just went ahead and picked these two up because I figured that these would be better on my skin tone. Um, but let me grab a brush and I'm using the It's My Ray Ray highlighting brush. And I think today I'm going to use, I think I'm gonna go with the petal pink only because I think the gold will be a bit much for this look. It's very pretty, but it's not real brightening. It looks like it's more like a blush topper than it is a highlighter. So it looks better like maybe on top of a blush because it is a bit dark. It doesn't really have that bright highlighting effect. I think what I'll do is I'll go in with Freshly Picked on top just to see if it kind of brightens it up a little bit. Oh yeah, that brightened it up some. It is a beautiful bright gold shade. Okay, so let's see, for lips, I'm gonna go in with Love Bite by Morphe. This is not a new lip liner. I just posted a haul a while ago showing you guys that I bought this lip liner and I have really been loving both the Morphe lip liners that I purchased. So for lipstick, I wanna go in with this new MAC lipstick. It's from that same collection. And this one is called The Naturalist. It is a very beautiful nude shade. I'm gonna go ahead and place that on my lips. Super creamy. 
Mm, such a pretty color too. Goes really good with this eye look. So now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this palette and do the bottom lash line. I'm using the Sonia G Pencil Pro. I'm gonna start with that mauve shade first. And then I wanna go in with this shade right here. And this one is more like a, I don't know, it's more like a burgundy shade. And I'm just gonna place that right on top of there. Ooh, that's really pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and go off camera and do my eyebrows and then I'll be back and finish up with a finishing spray and also add some lip gloss to my lips. I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face with this Essence You Better Work. This fixing spray says it's gym proof, it's sweat resistant and anti-shine. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this today. I'm gonna shake it up. Ooh, it smells like baby powder. It smells really good. It sprayed on pretty good. It didn't have like too much of a spray and it didn't have too much of a light mist. It sprayed on pretty well. I do wanna go ahead and highlight my brow bone. So I'm gonna go in with this shade right here in the palette. It's like a vanilla shade and I'm not gonna go in too much cause I don't want it to look too crazy, just lightly. It's pretty because it's not too like stark white. It's very subtle. See that? It's really pretty. I think I'm gonna go ahead and take a pencil brush and I'm going to highlight the inner corners as well. I'm gonna go ahead and use that same shade there that I used for my brow bone and I'm gonna use that in my inner corner. Now what I want to do is I want to use a lip gloss. I bought these Revlon Glowing Lip Glosses. I got the shades Shall We Dance? And I also picked up See You Soon. So it's 0204. 04. 04 is Shall We Dance and 02 is See You Soon. They're just like these glowing iridescent lip glosses. So today I'm gonna use Shall We Dance. Um, this one is more of like a light pink. I'm not really gonna swatch this for you because it's not a very highly pigmented gloss. Um, I tried to swatch it on my hand, but you're not gonna see it. So I'm just gonna go in with Shall We Dance? It smells really fruity and it's kind of thick. Gloss looks really nice, but like I said, it doesn't really have any like pigmentation to it. I'm gonna go ahead and bring you guys in just a little bit so you can see the finished look um, because I don't think you can see it from like right there. I don't know if you guys can tell like the colors and stuff, so I'm gonna try to open up the window just to see if I can let a little bit more light in so you guys can actually see um, it without like the shadowing that's here. So I'll be right back. Okay, I think that's a little bit better. This is the finished look. I really love my makeup right now. It just looks really nice. Okay, so now let's get into my first impressions. Let's start off with the palette. Um, it's the Mystic Petals Palette by NYX. I love this palette, guys. I love the pigmentation. I loved how it blended. I love how smooth it looks on the eyelid. I really like the fact that this green which I thought was not gonna be as smooth and creamy as it was, or as pigmented as it was, that it actually worked out. Because most greens like this, it's very hard to get that pigmentation. Sometimes they come off really choppy and they're hard to blend, but this one is so good. I really love that about this palette. I love that all the shadows blended easily and well together. Um, they're not choppy, they came off really nicely on the eyelid, and this palette is a plus. Now it does look like most of these shades would be used for the fall, but honestly, you could use any of these mauve shades or the golden shade that's in here, you could use that right now in the summer. And these other shades that are darker, you can kind of lead into the fall with those shadows. So yeah, I really love this palette. I think it's such a great buy and I'm really excited of how it turned out. So the next thing I wanna mention is the e.l.f. Jelly Pop. It went on really smoothly. It is a dewy type primer. 
um, but it didn't feel like real dewy. It felt really tacky, um, which I don't mind because it felt like my foundation really adhered to my skin. This really reminded me, like I said, of the Cover Effects Gripping Primer, and it also reminded me kind of of the Milk Gripping Primer. So it's kind of like in that same line, and I can't remember when I purchased it, I think I had read that it does have a grip to it, but I can't remember. Either way, I think it's a great primer. I love the way it went on my skin. It wasn't like slippery or slick or anything like that. Um, it just really helped this foundation like adhere to the skin. So yeah, I'm gonna be testing this a little bit more just to see if it makes the foundation last and just to see if it works with other foundations that I have in my collection. So yeah, I'm gonna be testing this out a lot more. Okay, so for the foundation, the Born to Glow foundation, so far the foundation looks really nice on the skin. I really feel like it looks very smooth. It has like a very slight glow to it not too glowy to where I look like a you know greasy mess or anything like that. It just looks really nice. Now I will see how this works later when I test it with my normal primers, but um, so far so good. First impressions, I think it's a beautiful foundation um, and it has really good coverage. I did go in with just a pea size and maybe a half because I had to use more on this side because of the sponge. But um, going on just one side with the brush, I think it just worked out perfect. And all I had to do was like cover up just those areas where I have like hyperpigmentation and scarring and things like that. But other than that, it looks really good on the skin. So I'm super impressed with this. Okay, so for the CoverGirl concealer, guys, this is such a good full coverage concealer. I'm looking at it right now and I set it with that blurring powder and I love the way it's set. It looks super smooth under the eyes. I don't feel like it's like creased at all. You know, like when I'm smiling or when I'm talking, I don't feel like it's creased. So I really, really like it. I do want to use it more. Just just because I want to see whether it lasts or not but I think it looks really beautiful under the eyes and so yeah for first impressions this is a winner as well so for the bronzer this is such a beautiful bronzer so when I swatched this one I knew that this was gonna be like perfect for me and it is so I'm really glad that I picked it up I love this bronzer. I think it has this really beautiful tan golden look on the skin and I love it. So I'm glad I got that. And then also for the lipstick in that collection, this lipstick is bomb too. It is a beautiful nude shade that can be wearable for every day. It's not too light, it's not too dark. It's just like a really beautiful cream nude shade and I love it. I love the way it goes on. I love how it made my lips look and I love the packaging, such a beautiful packaging for these products. So for blushes, the NYX Bang Bang Blush went on beautifully. Now it is very pigmented, which I don't mind because when it's pigmented, you only need a little bit and a little goes a long way and that means that product's gonna last you a long time. So it doesn't bother me that they're highly pigmented. You just have to go in with the light hand but looking at it, I think it's a beautiful shade. It looks very smooth on the skin and it blended in really well with that foundation as well. I can't wait to use the Citrine Rose because it does have a glow to it and I love like a really pretty blush that has a nice sheen to it. So anyway, I really do love this one and I'm really excited about trying this one. So for the highlighters, I will say that this one here wasn't as brightening as I thought it would be. It looked like more of like a topper for like a blush because it was kind of dark. I really thought it was going to be more like a light peachy pink tone and so I really felt like it added more color to my blush that was already pigmented and it didn't really brighten up like my cheekbone area. So then I went in with this one and I really love the way this one looked on my skin. It's a very beautiful light golden shade. It looks like it would have like another shade mixed in with it, but when I swatched it, it looks really like light golden. So this one I probably will take back because it is a bit dark, but this one I'm definitely gonna keep because I love the creaminess of these highlighters and so I really like this one, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one, but unfortunately this one is a little bit dark, so I might just go ahead and take it back. These L'Oreal lip glosses are really nothing to really talk about. 
Um, they don't have any pigmentation to them. It's just clear lip gloss. It didn't really make a huge difference on how, you know, my lips looked. Um, it didn't make them like more glowy or anything like that. And I really felt like when I put this on, it felt really like thick. So like when I put it on and I opened my mouth, I had like little lines of lip gloss, you know, when it gets kind of like sticky right there. I just didn't like that. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to return them because I really did not like these for my lips. The next thing is the Essence You Better Work. This is said to be sweat resistant and anti-shine. It did go on really nicely when I sprayed it. Um, I don't see like splatter marks. I don't see like it broke up my foundation or anything like that. I really won't know how it works until I actually use it on a day-to-day -day basis. But so far for first impressions, I think it looks really nice. Um, like I said, it wasn't splotchy or anything like that. So it went on really nicely. And the best part about it is that it smells like baby powder. And I really love that scent. But anyway, this is going to be something that I'm going to have to keep testing out for you guys and let you know later how it actually worked for me. Okay, guys, that's the end of my first impressions video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you guys have used any of these products, please let me know down below how you felt about the product, what your favorite was. Um, what you didn't like so I can see the different results that it gave you guys so anyway thank you guys so much for being here I appreciate y'all have a great day and we'll talk to you soon bye